I really want to see like where I stand. Privilege isn't something that people really talk about, even with like your own friends. I honestly think I'm quite privileged. There's a lot about privilege in Singapore that's not said. It has to do not only with like your race, but um, your social class. If your parents ever had to work more than one job to support your family, take one step back. If you had a job during your secondary or ITE, Polytechnic or JC years, take one step back. If you were uncomfortable about a joke or statement you overheard related to your race, gender, appearance or sexual orientation, but felt unsafe to confront the situation, take one step back. If you have ever been rejected in a job interview because of your race or skin colour, take one step back. If you've had multiple tuitions at the same time in school, take one step forward. We always talk about like meritocracy or like the equality of opportunities and like we are under this sort of shade that everyone's sort of equal. We are all Singaporeans. So I expect our ending position to be roughly the same. But in actual fact, it, it, it differs by, by quite a bit. It's quite interesting to see that the differences are actually, I mean, it's not really minute, it's really huge. As I was holding on to the person next to me, I was like, there was a part of me that didn't want to let go. So at the, at the part when I had to, I was just like, oof, like, I wish I could still hold on. As a straight Chinese female, I think I'll end up somewhere in front because I do have quite a bit of privilege in this Chinese majority society. But uh, I think I will still be quite um, curious to see where I actually really end up at the end of the day. To see how much of my own privilege on certain things that I know I have privilege for, but I do not know the extent of which I have it relative to some of my other friends. I think it was interesting because these are all issues that we are normally very sensitive about and we don't really talk about. So by having these questions like kind of pelted at us so boldly, I think um, kind of also drove home how serious and how rooted these issues are. So as I got even further forward, even further forward, I realised they yeah, actually there are lesser people that are on the same level, lesser people in front of me in fact. And I, and from what I can see, like, I couldn't see anyone, so it felt very uncomfortable. Like, oh shit, I'm so far in front. You start to realise also how many people are actually left behind that you actually don't really think of it until you go through such an experiment and you realise, oh, there's so many people that are not like you. In the end, like, I ended up at the back as the last person. As a minority race woman, I think that uh, it's quite expected that I would be somewhere at the back. The minorities are not really have progressed forward that much as, as compared to the majority. But then again, it's also interesting to see the majority is quite widespread, uh, from being right at the front to all the way to the back as well. When it really comes down to it, issues of like um, your finances, your, your race and your gender still play a huge part in the kind of privilege that you have in Singapore. If we can acknowledge those differences and think about how to, to discuss them sensitively, then I think we can make a lot of progress in the kind of uh, social disparities that people face.